some nomads tried to run some bees in my district. So, Tino has taught them a lesson. A painful one. The nomads came to me. Better late than never. Better late than never. Straighten things out. Speck attached. Alrighty. Hey everybody, it's Rachel. I'm doing some more pottery quests. These are pretty good. They are, they start off easy. They get a little bit harder as you go. And let's read this one. Search and recover a Militech car purchased by the nomads. A group of nomads decided to run some sideways in Night City <clears throat> and bought a stolen Militech SUV from the Valentinos. This happened on Padre's turf, but they forgot to ask him for help because they didn't want to cut him in. The Valentinos took the Eddie, slammed their heads against the pavement, and told them to fuck off. The Nomads just want to get what they paid for the right way this time through a fixer. Their rep Dakota called me and I promised uh, Padre Pomp promised her he would help. The SUV ended up in a Valentino's garage, so that's where we come in. That's funny that... <laughs> Um, the nomad, well that makes sense, the nomads went through Dakota, and Padre's like, oh, wow, that's, it looks bad for Padre if he doesn't have control. Oh, I didn't want him to see me. We want to be sneaky, if we can. Sometimes it's hard. Very hard. <laughs> It's okay. We just kill them. Sometimes it doesn't work out. It hurts. It hurts. Uh oh. <laughs> Now we have to do the very laborious task of picking up all their stuff and maybe putting bodies away. As they say, never leave behind a mess. Clean up after yourself. And we're gonna look in here. This is an archive combo between Diego and Francisco Gomez. Diego, you were supposed to hand over the scratch and apologize for busting his nose. Is that really so hard? The asshole laughed in my face, saying I was a bitch on a leash. And that's why you zeroed him? It was his fault. He was 6th Street, you fucking gonk. Shit's gonna hit the fan now because of you. And we don't have time for no fucking war. Not now. And then Francisco's like, fuck it. We ain't no strangers to spit in lead. And Diego goes, you don't know shit. He was from the new 6th Street, you fucking moron, with a new boss. Oh, that's right, they have Gunner now. Um, yeah, now they're freaking out because of the new 6th Street boss. Let's see if anything interesting on here. And, oh, this is between, um, pot. This is our fixer. I know how you treated the nomads, that's not how we do things. 
blow yourself, Grandpa. Uh-oh, that was not the right thing to say. I asked nicely. Forgive me, Lord, for what I'm about to do. <laughs> now everybody's dead. There's the SUV we gotta get. Um, grab everything. What is that? Shoddy? Let's get the good stuff out here. This guy. He, ooh, that's nice. Over here. There's somebody, this lady up here. So many stuff. I think for now I'm gonna break it down because trying to save up, let's have a burrito. Trying to save up like stuff to use for cyberware. Alrighty, I think we're ready to go. Time to get out of here. To go. Sorry. Uh oh. We got my Tinos. They're gonna chase me. It's not too far though. Uh oh. Caldos, oh jeez. You're lucky Dakota helped out. Why do you need the rig? I fucking love that Corpo Sikh. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Who guards the border? Well, Militech. Now connect the dots. The hell were you thinking? A solo making an exchange with the Valentinos? I wasn't alone. Where's well, what happened? your tombs? The motherfucker set a trap. That's what happened. Fucking Tinos. And this surprises you. Man, whatever. I'm out of here. Worst trip to the city ever. Dude, where's where's your Alda Caldo champs? It looks like he did come alone. Oh, that quest? Oh, we gotta there we go. Alrighty. And Pottery is gonna call us. Leave the area. Sublime work me. I knew I could count on you. The nomads are grateful for your help. Contract closed. Wow. We got a lot of money for that one. Alright. I think V's tired. She's gonna go home. Gotta go home and get some Z's. Let's go. Take a detour. This is the memorial of um, Arisaka Tower when Johnny blew it up. tower. The tower is an omen of radical change, chaos, and destruction. The lightning striking the tower signifies a return to the old order that lies buried under the ruins, and a new order that will rise from it. It is a symbol of tragedy, apocalypse, and self-destruction. I'm kind of sad that they didn't have Johnny appear and say a few words. He would think he might have something to say. Being that he caused all this. What's that? Sorry. He's trying to clean the windows. It's 
2023. Arasaka Memorial, we shall never forget. In this spot in 2023, an explosion from a terrorist attack on the first Arasaka Tower claimed the lives of more than 12,000 victims. May they rest in peace. This game does so much for the lore and like immersion. It's really amazing. I guess this is supposed to be all their names of the 12,000. You can't see their names, but you can kind of imagine that's what it is. Oh, Nibbles is in the laundry basket again. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna make a lot of time go by. Like, she's gonna sleep for nine hours. Oh yeah, so I changed my apartment. I gave it some new colors. I like the cyberpunk yellow and the purple. Jake Estevez, hey, got your number from Al Capitan. Thanks for all your help with the car. Listen, there's just one last thing. I won't be coming back to NC anytime soon and there's this sweet ride I had to leave behind. It'd be a damn shame for her to sit alone gathering dust and rust. It's a Quadro Turbo R, it's yours now. <laughs> okay, he gave us a free car. Let's look at where we are. Um, so pottery. Just a few more, and I'm not sure if this is one of Pottery's. It's, we're kind of close to Dino over here. <laughs> um, let's head over there and do some more Pottery quests. Quick save it. Let's take the roof way. It's kind of cool they added so many options just to get out of the garage. Very realistic. what the Netrunner was doing up there. Uh oh, this Dino, the Dino Fixer is part of this. Case Mod, yeah, I heard about Barnes. And Dino says, yeah, so it's about her. So someone helped her under that train? Exactly, I mean, I know it, you just gotta get the proof. Well, how about a little hack job? Which station? 
Memorial Park. Best thing would be some CCTV footage. I'd buy that. Yeah, sure, I'll see. Dino says, just be careful. Militech wants to shut this whole thing down quick. Fuck, maybe you already got your ice up in the end cart subnet. And Case Mod said, <laughs> Case Mod, uh, nah, not like them. Not in external systems. Probably just wipe the files. Simple data recovery. Those smart ass suits sometimes forget the simplest tricks. And she died. Work your magic. Blah, blah, blah. That's sad. Oh, and Judy also texted us while we were driving. Aw, she sent a picture from Oregon. Hello from Breezy, Oregon. It's got some water that actually looks clean. And there's uh, windmills on up on the cliffs. Um, visiting your grandma and grandpa. Yeah, showed up on their doorstep a few days ago. Don't know if they're happy or confused. Probably both. Pretty nice being with family. Good food. Good people. Zero bullshit. How's life in NC? Could be better. Could be worse. Still breathing. Guess that's something. You'll figure it out, V. You always do. Gotta go. The elders are summoning me. Do I remember this one? Oh, I think this is a nightclub or something. This one's called Dicky Twister. <laughs> We're gonna park. I like um trying to find a funny parking spot. Where can I park? Probably ballet only. We're gonna try to scooch in this spot. <laughs> oh shit, I can't get out of my car. Can I get out? There we go. V, I need you to steal a certain document. And it's urgent. It's urgent. Find the details attached. Um, we're being thieves now. <laughs> steal data from a computer. Um, St. Augustine once wrote, <clears throat> When one has a healthy sense of smell, he will immediately recognize the stench of sin. Well, even anyone with a sinus infection. Um, um, so, d yeah. This, it's a gay strip club. It's full of choices with glazed dead eyes who will do anything you desire for an extra eddy. The stench coming from that place finally wafted into NCPD command. My little rats tell me they plan to kick down the door any day now. That's bad. The owner of Dickie Twister, a pink call a pimp called um Senor Lad Rillo, is no gonk and a fanatic for record keeping. He has a data he has a computer full of data thanks to spying tech in his VIP rooms. We're talking politicians, suits, Crime bosses, celebrities, maybe even the cops themselves. If the boys in blues get their hands on these recordings, Ladrillo's generously, oh, geniusly built house of cards collapses, leaving the whole district in chaos. So we gotta clip those recordings before the cops do. Alrighty. Here's the cute little parking lot. Maybe we should take a picture. This is like a very nice storefront for their club. Dicky Twister, whoa. And what's this place right next to it? Um, maybe it's a Caliente place? Captain Caliente, but it looks like it's closed down. <laughs> they lost business. And this is their parking lot. I wonder if we have to pay to get in. Hi. Pay here, oh crap. Do we have to pay? Go somewhere. It's pay to go in. Alright, how much? Oh, only a hundred dollars? That's not you bad. <laughs> you look, you don't touch. If I see your hands where they shouldn't be, I'll rip them off myself. Got it? Got it. Enjoy yourself. Hey! hey. Show your Uncle Carlos some skin! <laughs> wow, it kind of, it's like, kind of like Lizzie's bar, but it's red instead of all pink. 
All right, so we don't want to be, we do not want to be caught. Um, that looks like we might be able to sneak back there. There's so many cameras. Let's, let's just see what's going on here. This room, there's this person here. And this guy watching the place. This is the guy at the front desk. Um, there's a bar. Maybe we should talk to the bartender. There's a guy guarding that door over there. Um, this is a dressing room behind the stage. Oh, here we go. This is the boss's big room. There's Saldo Capone. He's wanted for murder of a NCPD officer. That's not good. There's also a person sleeping. And back here, there's another guard we gotta watch out for. And this guard. <laughs> This place is pretty big. All right, we've got a lay of the lands. They have a very nice stage. It's pretty big. Um, let's go talk to the bartender, cause why not? Hear me, good man. Not a rock. You willing to babysitting? No, no, no. I'll just sit back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Some of their um their body stuff is funny, their actions. Hey. Interesting quirky place. Joint. It's quirky. Like working here? For the most part, only con is the glitter. I can't ever get it off, <laughs> not completely. Um, let's sit at the bar. Drink. What is he serving us? It's some sort of tequila, maybe. Appreciate it. Thanks. Ten dollars. Oh, he's like up there. All right, well, let's see if we can maybe. This is the toilet. There's a guy in here. We're gonna knock you out just for fun. I won't hurt you. It'll be non lethal. He's got some stuff on him. Some bathrooms. Alright, we gotta find a sneaky way. Let's baby distract this guy. Well, let's turn this off first. Will you go look at that? Huh? Yeah, he will. Huh? Hmm? Can I get through here? Is that a window? No. Excuse me. Oh crap. That wasn't supposed to happen. No, unacceptable. All right, I reloaded it. It looks like it auto saved here. Um. I know, I know, I'm breaking my rule, no save scrubbing. We're gonna try to be sneaky though. Let's try this again and... Hmm. Oh, there's also a camera all the way over there. I wanna knock this guy out, but I'm afraid too many people are gonna see. Maybe I can try to sneak through this hallway. 
As long as that guy's not looking, but I feel like he's totally looking in my direction. That is not good. Or maybe you can look at that. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Oh crap, my ram still has not recovered. My ram. He's gonna stare at that speaker. And in here, uh oh. I can't, I can't. We have to hide right here for like a few uh, seconds. Oh no. Can you please? He's coming back. No. Uh-oh. We're stuck in this very bad spot. There we go. Okay, we made it. We made it. Let's sneak past this drawn. Let's go back here. <gasps> Alright, so now... Another freaking camera. Maybe we can distract this lady to come look. Trying to be sticky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Knock you out. And now turn this thing off. And dump your body. Now is this a door to the outside? Yes. <laughs> and this is more bathrooms. Out of order, gross. Quick save it. Oh, another camera around the corner. So many cameras. There's a guy on the other side of that door in this room. Um, it doesn't look like anyone's in here. This is another way in if you went if you went around. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. That's nice. Alright, so somehow we have to get upstairs. Oh wait, there's stairs up here. Alright, now you gotta be careful. Super si, senor quiet. Ladrillo. Everything checks out. Uh -huh. Everything checks out. That's right. He's on the phone. Let's try to distract him. Go look at the night cooler machine. Uh oh. Huh? Gonna grab him. Hopefully no one saw that. I'm gonna stash his body in that downstairs. Okay, let's read this. This is between Lena and Otis. Hey, what's going on with Steve? He isn't picking up or texting back. I went by his place. The door was on a chain. Neighbors say they haven't seen him for days. And Otis says, hmm, all I know is that he was supposed to go and meet Jotaro. Uh-oh. Said he could be getting more money with him. Told him Jotaro swacked in the head and to be careful. So I heard. Figured he would. Don't know what happened after that, but I have my suspicions. Jotaro's pretty- he's an evil tiger claw. That's one of Regina's side quests. Um... Let's go sneaky sneaky over here. There's this guy right here. He's just chilling in this room. We're going to dump his body. Over here. And read. Oh no, we read that before. Is there a camera in this room? I'm <laughs> like super paranoid. This big server room looks kind of cool. There's a camera right here. 
All right, now we have to get this guy without him noticing. I would like to just knock him out. I won't kill him. Pottery told us just to steal data, not to kill anybody. He has a flamingo in his room. Is there anything? There's something back here. Alright, before we steal the data, I like to see if there's messages. Work. To Jose. Jose, I got a job for you. This is serious bid. Biz for serious Eddie's. Not no Mickey Mouse shit. Details in person. Come by and we'll talk. And this is to Thomas. Good day, officer. I believe there has been a slight misunderstanding. One of your boys from the precinct was here, waving around some kind of search warrant. I told him to take a walk, which he did, but I can't help wondering how this happened in the first place. I don't want to point any fingers, but one of us is clearly not sticking to the fucking deal. Not good. And so Solo Capone. Solo, brother, forgive me, but I have to leave town for a while. It's an urgent family matter, an inheritance to divvy up. A forged will, the usual stuff. I have to go see a cousin from so Southern California. Grab him by the collar. Explain how we do things. You get the idea. Hold the fort while I'm gone. Yep, he's holding the fort. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cops are about to bust his place down. While Ladrillo is gone. Maybe that's why the cops... Because they have... The guy's gone. It's their chance. This lady's sleeping over there. Alright, I want to see what's in my inventory. We got any stuff? Cute. Whoa, that is very yellow. I'm gonna put this back. Let's see here. Oh, we got this really cute. Um. Oh, I like it. It's um, it's got nice colors on it. Put this back. And this visor. <laughs> I normally don't have the wear that stuff. All right, we're out of here. Look, they have their nice little private patio. That's nice. Got the files from the Dicky Twister. I rejoice. And so should you. For the contract has been closed and your compensation is on its way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pottery is funny. Our car is still here. <laughs> These carts in this weird corner. Wow, a lot of money. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Pottery. Pottery, do you have any more quests for me? I think this is probably one of his. Let's drive over there. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Let's park right here. probably leave this for the next episode thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying my cyberpunk let's play leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye bye